Uh, my name is Jackie Minikin and I am the Director of Campus here at Concordia Lutheran College's Warwick Street Campus. And this morning I have with me Mrs Rowena Weir who is our prep teacher here at Warwick Street Campus. Morning Ro. Good morning Jackie. Okay, so today we are going to talk to you a little bit about a day in the life of a preppy here at Warwick Street Campus. Now, usually we would do this with you all in the room, but because of the latest events, we've decided, okay, we need to change things up like we have here at school at the moment, and we are bringing this to you via video. So, Ro, here we go. This is going to be different for us it's today. Different. It's different. It's <laughs> very different. Okay, so, um, Ro, we've just seen in the video at the beginning of our session today um, a little bit from our prep classroom here at Warwick Street Campus, and it looks a little bit different to other prep classrooms you might see when you travel around and you're looking for a school for your child. So, tell me, why did you choose to set your classroom up like that? And it certainly is different, Jackie. Um, certainly different to what parents would have had when they went to school and um, they certainly would have would not have seen a classroom like this um, no de no desks in rows no nothing like that <laughs> we don't have desks in rows we do have groups of desks that the children can work at but we also have desks at different heights so children can stand up to do their learning they can sit to do their learning we've even got portable learning devices that they can take around so they can take clipboards around with them um, and so they can find their own spot where they they can work really well. Mm -hmm. um, we take we've got also iPads that they can take around to do their learning. Yeah, so lots of hands-on things here in the classroom. And that's why we've set the room up like this. We've set it up so that it's a hands-on working space. That's how the children learn the best. We want this room to be as fun, as engaging, as hands-on as possible. So our room's set up for hands-on activities. It's set up for discovery, for the children just yeah. to discover things for themselves because we don't want to be just telling them what no, they need to learn. No, that's right. We have um, exploration, so yeah. they've got sp spots that they can go to explore. So I guess really in this classroom, what the preppies would see as them just having a fun time, <laughs> and it is, it is a fun time, but I guess um, in this classroom it is set up purposely for their learning and to keep them engaged. Absolutely, right? and children learn best when they're using their hands, when it's real life experiences, and that's what we've set our room up to be like. Yeah, great. So. Um, I guess our students, they've got to accomplish a lot in prep throughout their year and it's a big year for when they come to school, it's yeah. a huge year and it's, it's a year where um, we don't want them simply just to cope with what's going on, mm. we want them to thrive, Absolutely. we want them to have fun and do the absolute best that they can do. Absolutely and feel comfortable in their learning environment and feel like they're actually taking on the learning themselves. Yeah. Okay, Rose, so timetable. Preppies need a timetable. I know in the classroom they have a visual timetable so do. they can see everything that's set out for the day. You have so much to cover within your time here at school with the preppies. How does, what does your day look like as far as timetable? Great, our day is, is highly structured and that's because the children love routine. They work best under routine. So our morning sessions are always started by a morning meeting which we start with on the floor and we have songs devotion yep. and then we start our literacy time which is a really structured block in the morning that's our biggest block too of the day isn't it, it so is. we've our day at school is structured in those three blocks of morning middle and afternoon session so our morning block which is your literacy block is the biggest session of the day and they're ready to learn in the morning they, yep. that's their freshest time they come in and they, they get they're ready to learn yep. and we start by a full a full instruction on the floor so they yep. all sit on the floor and we have an instruction time on the floor which is a whole class instruction where we do our new initial lit program which we've had really great success with yeah we've just brought that in in the last 12 months and what we've seen so far has just been absolutely outstanding yeah it's it's a great program and i believe that this is the best way for our, our children to learn 
But that is modelling, isn't it? That is sitting down on the carpet. It's a bit of an I do, we do, you do situation where the teacher needs to model and the students have to be ready to sit and Absolutely, learn. and they have to actively participate. Yes. They have to be able to be ready to give back to us so that we can see that learning happening. Yeah. Yeah. So after we have our full-time, full group learning on the floor, yeah. then that's when we go back to our desk. Sometimes we'll do some worksheets that relate to that, mm -hmm. but it might even just be a handwriting time as well. Yes. Even though we have lots of times that they have yes. flexible places to sit and yeah, do their yeah. learning, they still need to know how to sit up at their at desks, mm -hmm. have that correct posture and, and that core body strength. They really need that core strength to absolutely. sit at the desk. So yeah. that they've got that great handwriting position. Yeah. yeah. And they because it, it's it's still a really big part of our program. Yeah. So there are times when they need to sit at the desk and yes. do some learning, but within that literacy time, um, do they then get to move around a little bit too? Absolutely, and, and it, it's fun as well. Yeah. So after we do our desk time, then we have some time where we do literacy rotations, and that's the, the fun part of the morning, where yeah. they get to use their hands, they have hands-on activities, so things like making letters out of Play-Doh, Play mm -hmm. um, there's lots of fine motor activities in there as well, so lots of cutting and pasting, um, playing games as well, so we get to play lots of literacy games, and it's also our reading time, so one on um, small group yes. reading times with yeah. the teacher, so that's when we do that as well. Yeah, that's great. And I think um, too within your literacy block, and I know because I've been in with you doing the literacy yeah. block, um, we're not having the students sit at one activity for a long period of time because they just don't stay engaged for that long. And that's important. Yeah, it, yeah. They can't sit for a long time. Yeah. and So we're constantly getting up doing brain breaks when we do our instruction on the floor and then our literacy rotations go for 20 minutes. So yeah. that's, that's a good amount of time for us to get some yeah. great instruction for our reading group and also a great time to get into a game or... Get Plus I think it's things. important for our parents to know that we do have that fruit break time in there yes. as well in that morning session because we know that some of these little people get up really early in the morning, have their breakfast at maybe 6.30. Our morning tea time is at 10.45. That is a long time for them to go without eating. So yeah. that fruit break sort of sits in the middle in there. In the middle there. Yeah. yeah. And that, but we, we are. We're up all the time, yeah. up and at them and, and back on the floor or back into our activities. Yeah. So we've got the literacy block in the morning. Then we have morning tea. Mm. Straight after morning tea, we go into a maths and numeracy block. Absolutely. So that's when we have our, a block block of time for our maths and it's the same sort of structure as our literacy so we have a mini lesson on the floor yeah. and then the children get to go into groups where we do again we do it everything we do we try to make it into a game yeah. or a hands-on activity so it's really kinesthetic it's yes. um, yeah. using using the things around the classroom and also using real life materials yeah yeah, yeah. and I guess to um, not only getting the students in groups and moving around helps them be engaged in their learning, but playing games with each other, we still need to build on that social, emotional, that cooperating together. Sharing. Sharing. Taking turns, taking turns yeah, is a big absolutely. one because that takes a long time it to does. learn. <laughs> so I guess that's really important too. Yeah. So we're building in a lot of skills absolutely. Um, into our day here at PrEP. So, Ro, we've talked about the beginning of our day, well, half of our day in prep because we've got our literacy block in the morning and our numeracy block in the middle session. We have so many other subject areas to cover because yeah. in prep we do follow the foundation level of the Australian curriculum. So there are subject areas like um, science, has help me out if I miss one. Visual arts. Visual arts, yeah. technology, yeah. all of those things that we need to fit into a day here mm. in prep as well as trying to continue that theme of keeping it fun and engaging. Absolutely. So what does that look like here in your prep classroom? So the afternoons are designed to be a little less intense yeah. and, and not as focused. So after lunch, they, they're, the children they're are... They're getting tired. They're getting tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a time where we do have some quiet time. We don't have a rest no. as such, but we do have a quiet time yeah. where they come in after play and we do have that, that bit of a break. Yeah. And then we have our investigation time, which is, is a really great, fun time of the day. And I can see by the way you're looking, investigations <laughs> is an exciting part of the day in prep. What do you do within your investigation? So it's 
it's all about incorporating all those things that you said and also that STEAM acronym yeah. that we've heard so much about. So so let's just let everyone know what the STEAM Absolutely. acronym is, which yeah. I'm sure they've heard. It's yeah. science, science, technology, yes. engineering, mm -hmm. art, art. <laughs> Yeah, and and math. So yeah. even though we've got those blocks, uh, those blocks, sorry, of literacy and maths in the morning, we still do incorporate the English and literacy yeah. and maths in the afternoon because we can tie it all together. Absolutely. And then it, if you tie it all to, together, it makes it more meaningful for the children. I guess it's more real life. It is real it? life. So in the, this time, we have things like dramatic play areas. So the children actually get to have. So this time we've got a fruit shop happening. So that the children actually have time with making shopping lists, using money. So that there you're tying in their their reading, their writing, their counting. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And they think they're having fun. Yeah. And absolutely. they are having fun. Yeah. And I mean I guess too when you're talking about um, and I think back to probably a couple of years ago mm. now, um, the children were doing an investigation on birds. So not only did they think that that was all about them and they came up with that investigation, but really I guess that's a part of their science Absolutely. Uh, unit as well that you're able to tie into that. That I can put into that. Yeah. So someone brought a book in yeah. about birds because they their mums and dads had it at home yeah. and they really wanted to. So we, we had a great investigation time. Yeah. Not everyone was interested in that, but that was okay. So we had a group of children who was interested in that while others did did other things yeah. and I think one of the biggest things that we need to remember is that children don't all learn the same things at the same time at the same right. time so that is a big thing and I guess in prep um, they're still so little and they're they're probably probably a bit egocentric which is which is a good thing yeah, they're into absolutely. themselves and yeah. what they want to learn about so we can harness that within your investigations. Absolutely. Yeah. So some other things that we do are we do science investigations so we in experiments and the children yeah. love doing things like yeah. that. Yeah. We do technology so um, we use the iPads and during like, that time. I guess um, the technology too isn't just the digital technology no. where they're using iPads because they're very good at that when they come to school but it's also that design element of technology and looking at how things work and designing something and making things so even in the just in the construction area the things that they they can build and so we might set them up with a stem challenge so they might have to build a bridge um, so one of the things that we did last year was build a bridge for the three little pigs <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Billy goat. Billy goat. sorry you've got the wrong, the wrong this one is this is minikin yeah so they actually have to design it they draw it design it and then they get to build it okay bro so um We've talked about a day in prep, we've talked about literacy numeracy blocks, yeah. we've talked about investigations. Now something that we haven't spoken about and um, I would like to really briefly is our bush prep program. Now we're passionate about we outdoor are. learning here at, at Concordia, not just here at Warwick Street Campus but right through to Stephen Street Campus. So tell us a little bit about our bush prep program and why, you, why do you do bush why, prep? Why we do it? Uh, Learning outside and learning outdoors is, is such a great... Yeah, well, it's something that doesn't happen much anymore, does it? It doesn't, and I think that's why we want to embrace it as much as we yeah. can. And what we do is we actually travel over to Stephen Street. So the children walk... So I guess when we point that way... <laughs> I've got, it's yes. a bit hard to see here, but We're when heading. we point that way um, across South Street to our, uh, our senior campus, Stephen Street campus, so just across the road. And we have a little bush area over yeah. there. Yeah. And it's an area that we can explore in, we can play in, we can look at all the things that we love to find in nature, that children yeah. love to find. We find worms, we find bugs, we find all sorts of and creepy I guess, crawlies. What, what do you do with them? So... So I guess you go over there and yes, there's time for them to explore, create, problem solve. But is there also an opportunity for them to learn, like bring their learning outside? Absolutely. And again, we still try to take a literacy and maths as far as we can. So yeah. we, we like to take it over to bush prep as yeah. well. So we'll often do stories that link to nature. So a story that we've done is Wombat Stew that yeah. we love yeah. taking over there. And the children love finding things to make and put into Wombat Stew. And it's love for literacy, a love for nature, putting it all together. Yeah. And again, just our preppies thinking they're just having a jolly old time, but they're really learning the, the and, whole time. And the learning over there is incredible. The 
uh, the persistence that you see yeah. when they're trying to complete a challenge over there, the resilience that you yeah. see when they're trying to just, even just trying to climb a log. That yes, they and, I, and I've seen that. I was over there once and I saw what it would take for a student that we would probably think would be really easy just to build up the courage to Absolutely. climb up and walk along that log. So the risk taking. Yeah. That we as, as adults, adults probably did all the time. All the time. And now yeah. we put these restrictions on our children because yeah, it's the world we live in, it isn't is. it? It's, it's us living in a world where there's perceived um, safety issues and we've got busy parents who, of course, we've been through that. We're busy parents and you don't have as much time to... Working live. parents, so when they, by the time they get back from, from out of school, they, they lose it in after school activities, yeah. we lose that outside playtime. So that's something that we still love yes. to include into our curriculum. Yes. Now, just a question... Um, do you spend all day at prep? Do you uh, at bush, bush prep? prep? Sorry, um, you spend all day at prep. <laughs> do you spend all day at bush prep or just a little chunk of time? What does that look like? So over the over the course of the year, we spend probably we get to greater chunks of time. Yeah. So we might spend just some time going over for an hour, yeah. and then by the end of the end of the year, we we spend like a session in yeah. there, and that, yeah. the children love it. I guess what's really fun too is we have buddies here at um, at Warwick Street Campus, and our year sixes are often buddies yeah. with the preppies, and I know previously the year sixes have loved getting over to bush prep with their buddies. They do, and the yeah. things that they can start making with the, the preppies is incredible. Yeah. So they... We, we have a really awesome time and we actually can take our investigation things over there, our STEAM and our STEM challenges. We had a challenge over there at the end of last year with our Year 6 buddies and we had to make streams out of bamboo and they had to I think put I, the water yes, through. Yes, oh, it I was amazing. Yeah. It, it was really great And fun. again, the rich learning that happens in those... I guess spontaneous situations in Absolutely. some respect. Yeah, um, like you said earlier, we do have to guide them in a lot of things so that we are covering what we need to. But it's still really important for those spontaneous um, times of learning to occur. So Absolutely. bush prep is very exciting. Yeah. So, Ro, I think we've covered it all today. <laughs> I hope so. We have. We've covered everything. And um, thank you, everyone, for taking a bit of a look at Warwick Street Prep with us. And hopefully we hope to see you all very soon face-to-face. Uh, -face. So thanks for joining us, and we look forward to inviting you into our prep classroom soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Ro.